One local man is doing his part to make sure the memory of the 384th Bombardment Group lives on. How he is doing it is pretty interesting. Landon Miller has the story of Fred Preller and his mission. They're all brothers and they, they feel like this is a, a, an expression of that kinship. The 384th Bombardment Group was active from June 1943 through April of 45. Preller's father was part of the 384th, which inspired him to learn more about the group. It's admirable, it's tough to do, and they did it. So Preller is on a mission of his own, getting veterans to sign this panel from a B-17 wing. It's not his wing, it belongs to the 384th Bomb Group Incorporated. The panel, though, has been shipped to 27 states so far. The group has collected 112 signatures. And for me to be there when they sign and see them do it, I mean, it's very emotional. The veterans are now anywhere between 88 and 97 years old. Each signature, though, has a story of its own. John Farr, down here. Like John Farr. He had a stroke and thought he'd never be able to write again. But he did write again. His name, a little shaky, on the wing. And John came out and he signed the darn wing panel. A metaphor, perhaps, of the strength and the determination they faced during World War II and the bond they share now with each other. No matter what challenges they face, they really feel a part of the 384th. Covering the story, Landon Miller, Channel 2 News. And Preller is leaving this weekend to go to Washington to add another signature. But he really wants to see if there are any local 384th veterans. To get in contact with him, if you are one, head to our website, ktvn.com, and click on the online version of Landon's story.